Hi, my name is Rob. I'm here today talking about the Sony XR520 video camera. Now, the great thing about this video camera is that it's uh, got a great big hard drive, holds hours and hours of high definition tape, it's got built in stabilization, zoom lens, and a great mic. But when you buy a Sony video camera, you're buying more than just a few images or a couple of clips. You're buying the chance to get into video, have it as a hobby, and it's the accessories that make the Sony cameras so unique. You can get shotgun mics, wireless mics, all sorts of accessories. Now one of the ones I want to talk about today is the Sport Pack Marine Housing. This allows you to go underwater 17 feet, so it's great for snorkeling or for shallow water scuba diving, which is where the good light is. And you take your video camera, you put it in the housing, and away you go. You can also just use it on the beach to keep sand out of your camera, but uh, underwater is what we're talking about today. So the first thing you do when you, when you get your sport pack, it comes with a bunch of plates, different plates for every Sony video camera. You just find the appropriate plate from the list for your camera. So this particular one is the H. The H plate just screws on the bottom, and that's what uh, is the stage for the video camera inside the housing. Now the other part that you need, and again it comes with all of them, is this little, it's like a lens hood and it just prevents flare from getting in from the housing itself. So you, you put that in the front, uh, you open the window, there's a jack right there where you can plug the video camera into the housing so you have all your controls, uh, power on, power off, take a still picture, everything, like that, and you slide it all in on the tray. Keep the cord out of the front of the camera. Oh, forgot one thing. You do want to reverse the screen on the camera so that you can see the image through the housing window. So we're all set there. Now, the most important part of the housing is keeping it waterproof. And to do that, you use the O-ring that comes with it. Now, the O-rings are very delicate. You do want to take care of them. You've got to make sure there's no sand on them or salt, uh, anything that can wreck them. And when you first get the camera, it's already got a bit of lubricant on it. But after a while, it'll kind of get grungy. You're going to want to clean that off and put on uh, the, some more of the ointment that comes with it. You just put a little bit on your finger and just slowly rub it through the o-ring and get it lubricated all the way through that just helps it to con to maintain the waterproofness of the housing so once you've got that done you put the o-ring back on the rear compartment of the camera and that'll make a nice seal now when you're replacing or changing or cleaning the, the o-ring you want to make sure you don't dig it out with a, a fingernail or a key or a sharp item because you're going to wreck it they are fragile you just want to pinch it together and then grab it at the corner when it pinches together. That'll work out great. So here we've got the camera all set up. It's plugged in. It's on the plate. We've got our little uh, lens shade. You close the back, seal it up, and we're good to go. The, uh, in some areas with a lot of humidity, maybe down by the ocean or the tropics, it would fog up. So there is a little bit of anti-fog that you can put on the front of the housing. Uh, we won't need that here today, but that'll just prevent it from fogging up. And of course, to look at your video, you just open the little mirror and your video will be right there inside as the, the mirror reflects back on the, on the screen. All right, let's just give it a try, see how it works.